Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen. All right, this is gonna be an upper body, lower body combination. All strength exercises for you today. I'm gonna to do each exercise for 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between, and we'll hit supersets. So upper and lower, repeat for three rounds to give you that progressive overload required to build lean muscle tissue. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells in the workout today. I'm also gonna use something to step up on for a few exercises. If you don't have that, I'll show you modification. If you love 30 minute workouts, click the card at the top of the screen and that's the playlist. All right, you're ready to move daily. Let's go. strength on my watch today. Uh, let's start with some heel digs right here. Yes, I have my box I'm gonna step up onto today, but you can use a stable chair, a step, a bench. If you don't have it, like I said, I'll show you some modification. Okay, no worries there. One more here. All right, some hip openers right there. Go the other direction. Bring it in and in. And take it wide here. Let's touch our toes. Reach that hand up. Side to side, bring that shoulder toward your opposite knee. All right, stay hinged forward. Let's give that arm a nice circle here. Big circles. Switch directions. Okay, let's just do some front and back bends since that really made my back feel like mm, tight. We'll stretch it out right there. Ah, that's good. Reach it forward. Better. One more here. Take it wide. Let's play. Open in the chest. And take it a little bit narrow and well overhead reach. And then we'll get going. Superset, one upper, one lower, repeat three rounds, and here we go. I'm starting with step ups, okay? Single leg step up. If you don't have a bench, you're just gonna squat. High knee, stay on the same side until I call half, okay? Then we'll switch, shoulders back, step it here, and up. Did I say I'm holding 15s? I'm holding 15s. <laughs> Down to the ground, I'll hold these 
fifteens. We're going to do a pulse full range press. So it's a little one inch pulse, full range press over the chest. Hips are up into bridge, and here we go. So it's little and big. Two inches and full range. Here, then we're back up to that step up. Very good. Make your way to standing step ups, and I'll stick with my 15s. Those felt good. I'll call half on the leg, shoulders back, and drive. heart rate up. Last chest. Into bridge. Here we go. And little and full. Alright, 
Standing, switching to 20s for a staggered deadlift for the lower body. I'll call halfway on the stagger or kickstand deadlift. Point your toe and hinge right here. So your low back is flat. Stay on this side, I'll call half. Last one here. Make, take a step forward and switch. Like a little pause at the bottom here. Moving into seated, single side shoulder press. I'll take 115. Okay, I'll call halfway again. Just a military press. Nice and tall. Press it here. Good. Take your time. You've got time on this one. your side and here we go up and press very good round two back to your kickstand deadlift quick sip Switch legs. Very 
good. Okay. Rest for two seconds. It's the hands, hey? The legs can manage. It's hard on the hands. Shoulders back, lead with your chest. when you're hitting the triceps, it's just that bend at the elbow. Let's go back to our front lunges. I'll go back to those 15s. Those felt good for me. Okay, alternating. <clears throat> nice and tall. Place your dumbbells onto your shoulders. That's fine. Whew. 
and on your back again. Whew. Legs get the heart rate up. Upper body you can bring it down slightly. Rounded arms for that fly. Open, open, up, tricep extension. leave any reps in reserve on the last set. Let's go. holding 15s. We're going to pulse for one, and then two, then three, then four, all the way up to six. Drop it low, pulse for one. Now two down there. One, two, now three. One, two, three, and four. And five. And six. Back to five. And four. Now three. And two. <laughs> no, no time for two. Okay, wide row. Up here, turn narrow row. Right there. I'm holding twelves. Wide and narrow, hinge at the waist, pull it wide, turn, narrow, turn. That's halfway, I'm just gonna stretch my back for a second. You can if you want. Very 
Good. Back to those squat pulses. Squat, squat pulses, I said. Okay, it's getting hot. Up on the shoulders. One to six. Drop it low. One. Now two. And three. And four. Five. And six. Oh, that's hard. Five. Four. Three. Oh, mercy. Oh, I usually make it. Fatigue today, it's okay. Wide and narrow. Core engaged. Shoulders back and wide. Turn, retract those shoulder blades. Way. Stretch your back if you need. Okay, our last exercise, we're gonna do the same thing for three rounds. It's gonna be your ultimate deadlift. There's the exercises. We're gonna start with that deadlift high pull. I've got my 12s. Here we go. Deadlift here, high pull, squat curl press. Low, here, up, good. A nice combo of upper and lower in this combination flow. And we'll burn it out with this. Two more rounds. 
I think I'll stick with 12s here, but I'm gonna try 15s on the last round. All right, deadlift high pull. Let's go. Squat curl press. Reach your hips back around that squat. Don't get lazy there. Hips go back, curl, press. Go, last exercise, deadlift, high pull, hit squat, curl press, Woo. good. Last 10 seconds, stay in the pocket, in four, three, two, one and done. You move daily in your upper and lower 30 minute strength set, super sets. That was fun, I liked it. Try for a stretch if you can. All right, let's stretch this out. If you have a wall, chair, couch, let's just open up into the chest here. Mine's trembling a little bit. I don't know why, it wasn't like anything was specifically <laughs> targeted, but I feel it, I like it. Switch sides, right there. Uh, you know when you do a 30 minute workout, it's nice sometimes to do a total body, but it's also nice to, to dial in the isolation a little bit. If all you had during a week was a 30 minute time slot to work out, let's bring the arm across. You can do really one of two things depending on what your goal is. So if your goal is just to be feel overall healthy, activate all the muscles, and you know spend some time just moving your body daily, then a total body workout would be great. However, if you're like, you know what, I really wanna sculpt my shoulders, I want my glutes to be more defined, I want my quads to be more defined, whatever, then I would definitely split up the muscle groups into parts. So for an example, let's reach up here, stretch. On Monday, you can do something like a chest and tricep or a full push workout. Tuesday, you can do a full pull workout or a back and biceps, right? You could do isolated shoulder workout on Thursday, isolated leg workout or glute workout on Friday. Even for 30 minutes, you would hit a number of exercises. You'd get the volume that you would want over the week to help grow and you'd be able to isolate growth in the specific areas a little bit better than if you did total body. So again, what's your goal? What do you want? What do you want your body to look like or your body composition to be? And then you sort of reverse engineer from there. Let's just do one quad stretch here. Oh, yeah, a little tight. Anyway, I'm glad we moved. I feel good. I'm going for a big walk after this, so I just wanted to do something for short 30 minutes. I did have this power hour this week too that I filmed, so that was fatiguing and, and this was a great way to just follow up with something like that. All right, thanks for joining. Glad you did. Go move daily in your wellness and nutrition. I'll see you in the next workout.